the heck was... Oh, that's L. Poor animal sounded like it had dying cow disease. Is that it right down? Oh my freaking lord, look at that. Alrighty, hello and welcome back to the channel and for today's video we're back in Hunting Simulator 2 and today, well, I need to make some money so I think we're going to go hunt something specific but something I actually found interesting is I was just going in here and looking for my licenses and I noticed that, okay, oh, yeah, I, yeah, thank you, I hit the wrong button, uh, down here it says Toggle Info I was like, oh, okay, the name Moose is common in North America, it is derived from the word Moosh Stripper and eater of bark. I did not know that. But uh, yeah, apparently they have a whole bunch of, uh, what you call it, information <laughs> of about the animals under their licenses. And I I guess if I had bothered paying attention, I'd have seen the button down there. Now, uh, I'll be quite frank, uh, I'm not sure what some of this information has to do, because as far as like gameplay goes, yeah, you know, like we go cougar. Cougars are stealthy predators hunting at night and often lying in wait for prey or silently stalking it before pouncing from behind and delivering a lethal bite to the spinal cord. Um, nah, I mean, in this game, they pretty much just go around in circles till you shoot them. There's grizzly bear and black bear here. Anyways, long and the point of it is, Wilson, ready? I, how much money did I have? 29 credits. That's, that's not good. We, we need more. Uh, Roosevelt Forest, and go find us a moose. Oh, what, what, what's, what's the, stop that. Um, hmm, so, <laughs> long and the short of it, the system actually went through a lot of issues lately. And so I had to redo my drivers, and unfortunately, that means the settings have changed for something. And now I am back to getting this weird frame stutter, even though I'm solid at 60 FPS. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. I gotta try and, uh, this, this, I, I'm not looking forward to this. This took me like six hours to figure out the first time and I can't remember what particular combination I found to get rid of it, but it, it's, it's bad otherwise. All right, well, at this point, I can't seem to figure out what it is. I don't know how I got it even close last time. I have tried every combination of graphics card V-Sync, engine limit V-Sync, in-game V-Sync. I have tried adjusting the frame rate by, you know, tenths of a frame to give it a drop frame appearance, and it, it still stutters. I don't get it. Wait a second. Is this always here? Anyways, so the point is today, moose. Meeson? Moosh. Gotta get us some moosh. Ah, I have one ticket for moosh. Uh, did I, was I smart and brought a moose collar? Hey, look at that. All right, let's give a listen. That sounded like Peter Griffin contemplating whether or not he wanted seconds. Okay, maybe he's asking for seconds. Now he's been denied seconds. Is it morning time? I think it's morning time. All right, let's go find a, a moose. Oh, well, I was going to say it looked like I fixed the, the motion blur went away, but nope. Motion blur's still there. Motion blur is off. Motion blur off should mean, like, I don't know, ocean, ocean? Motion blur off should mean motion blur off. That is frustrating. All right, what did you find? Did you find moose? Hey, wow, that was good job. Oh, and he went that way. Good dog. You're the best. This might be quick. Okay, um, we're still following the track. Good. I'm not quite sure what I heard, but I think I heard the moose over this way. I can't tell if I'm hearing ambient sound effects because of the weather or the moose. Now, of course, I don't have the little A things turned on that tells me what is making calls where. So for all I know, that could be a bear. Oh, there you go. My backpack has a tail. Yep, that's, uh, that's just bizarre. I don't know why it does that. Where did he go? Oh, he's straight ahead of me. I think I heard a frog. Down there. Red fox. Okay, not what I'm looking for. God dang, watch this dude. Let's see if I can get him to do... 
Aww. I'm not gonna lie, but he's 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 putting that thing a little far in there. I would I would hazard a guess that that is not comfortable. I think there's a deer over here. Let's check. Oh yeah. Uh, come here. Come. I need you beside me. Right down there somewhere. Oh, it, and there's a moose. Son of a biscuit. Ooh. Uh, the one on the right ain't half bad looking. We're not gonna overcall. Just gonna keep the line here and waiting. He sticks his head up over this ridge line, maybe. That's a good looking deer right there. He's down. And there was a moose so close. All right. We will slow crawl our way over here and get ourselves that white tail. Never fails, right? I want a moose. Second I find a moose. Or second I shoot a deer, I find a moose. Where was he? He must have like looped around that way. That is not a bad looking white tail right there. Let's take a look here. He is a mature. All right, so I'll bag him and I'll compare his scores once we get back to the lodge to see if he's worth the... Uh, putting in the lodge or not. I kind of want to be up on this hill with this little tree. I think that moose is in this valley over here. And I think he must have run back up the ridge line. So they have this little effect going on where the water runs down the screen. Which I guess anyone who wears glasses uh, is experienced in real life. The problem I'm having is it makes it very hard to spot things moving around in the brush. Because every time I think it's something moving, chances are it's actually just a water droplet. I want to say I'm hearing a moose off in that direction. Something else I'm noticing. You see my marker here for white-tailed deer, right? Uh, the last time I was here, I spotted a deer. I missed my shot. I went up. There were all the red things. That was in this valley right down here. Those were the same deer. Hmm, I so screwed up by taking that deer over the moose. Yeah, I haven't heard anything in a good minute now other than the red fox. So I think... Yeah, I think I'm going to go back to Wilson, get him back on the track, and continue on to try and figure out this thing's path. You know, I know I told you to stay, but you could have gone and, like, sat in a bush or something, not out in the rain. But I appreciate it all the same. Uh, let's see... Yeah, could you go ahead and track go that? On. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Now I know why the white tail are here. I think I made a comment in the last video. I said, where the heck are they getting apples? Right there. There's an apple. These are apparently apple trees. Huh. I wonder how many of these I've walked past and not noticed. Oh, there's more over there. So this this is a good spot for white tail. Which makes sense, considering I just saw two. I wonder why there's no stand over here then. Uh-oh. Where's he going? Oh, he's up there. Oh. Nope. Nope. Down, Nimrod. No, I spooked it. Did I spook it? Well, now I know it's off in this direction. Yep, definitely spooked it. There is a nice little valley here. So it would appear that it's going to skirt this valley. So maybe if I get up to these trees right here where I can see the whole... There's a ridge line that goes up in the back, and then a valley down here. So if I can get to a spot where I can see up the ridge line and down the valley, hopefully I'll see him cross? Question mark? That's a pretty good spot right up here. Yeah, right up here is pretty nice and open. Yep, yeah, this is looking pretty good. If I'm to trust the rain as a bit of a wind indicator, it's going that way. So this should actually work well in all regards. You know, come to think of it, seeing as the area I'm in, is this... How close am I to that marker? That moose spotting there was that absolute tiny thing. I'm really hoping this isn't that moose. I don't think it is. I, I don't think it's the same moose I'm tracking. I think there's more than one. Because the moose I'm tracking keeps going around. This one keeps coming back. Wait, what is that right... Is that a bush? I swear, right there, right now, that looks like that's an animal. But it's a tree. Okay. All right, so last time I sat and waited like 15 minutes and it didn't come in. This time I've sat and waited like 20 minutes. Haven't heard it. What do I do? Yep, let's go back. Find Wilson. Where is he? He's that way. Have him get back on the trail. 
and see if we can't bump into the thing again. Ah, it's so frustrating. Now he's probably headed around. So now he's probably already down by the water. Last time the tracks went from fresh to old. I wonder what the difference will be here. Um, anybody seen my dog? Wilson? This way. No, still just old. Go get it. Oh, and last but not least, this game needs an auto lock. Either auto lock or Logitech needs to introduce like a special key that can lock a key to be held on or something. I don't know. So I actually get wrist cramps <laughs> playing this game. Wilson's almost maxed out. And by then, it'll be time to get a, a lab and train him up. Come. Stay where you are. He's in front of me. He's calling. Okay. Come on, let me get up here and get up. There he is. That is not a big one. I only got one shot on him, but looks like a pretty good shot. And then that other sound I heard, I'm guessing, was elk? Ah, uh, tiny moose. So he'll be for money. What? Oh, well, good job, Wilson. You found him. <laughs> we did it, bud. We got us a moosh. Good job. That, that's a moosh. That's a very fluff, fluffy, fluffy moosh. He is an adult. Yeah, so we'll sell him for money. Oh, I still, I, I'm not used to being able to exit back out. So I can sit there and look and go, hey, yeah. Oh, he's a big mature. I want to get photos before I pick him up. You know, that doesn't look half bad. I'd actually say, like, for for the size he is, those look fairly good. I gotta ignore the uh, Unreal's fur tuft, but that's Unreal for you. All right, let's head back to the cabin, oh, which is way the way that way. And uh, I want to find out about that deer. And I, oh, come on, Wilson. Come, Need you beside And see how much that moose nets us. And then potentially get another moose license, come back, and get another moose. I made it, like, that far and ran out of breath. Oh, this is a game where we could utilize a side-by-side -side or a horse something. A parachute and one of them jetpack thingies, you know. I wonder if they actually do that in real life. I don't think I've ever seen anyone parachute into a hunting, like, for a hunting trip. But I imagine there's got to be places in the world where that's pretty much going to be your only way of getting there. I guess I shouldn't complain too much, right? This guy is carrying a whitetail and a moose on him somewhere. Redefining the term deep pockets. Alright, let's see. Alright, so a 292. This one's a 247. So we will sell him for the 550 credits. And look at that! He's a little 98 adult. But that was... 4,620 credits for a 900 pound moose. That's a tiny moose. So let's sell that too. And then head back to the lodge. Grab another moose license. Hey, it's not raining today. All right, let's go find another moose. Hopefully this one's bigger. I'm gonna try something too. I'm gonna go exactly back where I found the first one. Actually, let's see if Wilson picks up a track right here. All right, so far he hasn't found a track, but we'll see. Maybe uh, we'll get lucky, be able to go that same area and find another one. Oh, wait, what is that? It's a white tail. Um, did I get him to turn him around? I think I did. I think I got him to turn around. Oh, that's because he's right there. That's a monster white tail. You ready? He'll stop. Look at that bugger. Back there's a little small, but he's just gonna wander up like this. Got him. Oh, there was another one? Mm, not as big. Oh, hey, look, the apple trees. Hmm, starting to see a pattern here. This will now make the third time I run into these guys right in this little area by this apple tree. And there's always two of them, even though I kill one each time. 
which means Moose should be right back there. This is where you go for Whitetail. This, so you just come out of the outpost, right? You just go straight south. And right here, Apple Trees. Matter of fact, let's delete that one. Put that there. <laughs> this is where you go for Whitetail. Go on, Wilson. Find the deer. You just gotta slowly like, hmm, there's a dead animal over here. Are you aware of that? Yes! Thank you. That is another mature. Alright, well, do the same thing. Take him back and compare him to the other one we got. Meanwhile, uh, where are you going? What? He just went that way? Did you, what? There he is. Yep. Ah, Wilson, drop fruit from a whitetail. No kidding. Maybe because there's fruit. Dog. And over there somewhere is a whitetail. Meanwhile, can we find some moose? Now, if only I could find the wild corn stalks. That I haven't seen. I've seen the fruit. Okay, so now we got apples. But I've also been seeing them drop corn. Like full corn cobs. I swear I just heard a call in front of me. And that sounds like bear. Uh, that one. Damn it, Wilson. You scared the crap out of me. Stay in position. Hope you running up then just scare off a bear. Nope. Boy, I'd love to switch to my rifle. Could I switch to my rifle, please? Son of a... This is all your fault, Wilson. Somehow. Wait. What? That is a sleeping red fox. You mean they do something other than just wander around? Well, I gotta shoot it, right? Okay, well, that was a sleeping red fox, and I took a terrible shot on it. I gotta see if I can get up there and get to it. Ah, one sleeping red fox. An adult. Take it for the money. <coughs> now it's not a moose. But I also can't seem to get back to where I was, where I had good. Oh, right up there. Not a big and still it's money, right? If I can get him there he is. Oh. That's fine. I'll leave him be. Hey, there's a tent up there. I want that tent. Moose! You found some moose. That's a good Go dog. Wait. What? Sorry. So this is the exact same track. Is this where I got? I don't know. No, this should be the other moose. It should be a different track than the one that I just got. <coughs> the heck was... Oh, that's L. <coughs> Poor animal sounded like it had dying cow disease. Is that it right down? Oh my freaking lord, look at that. Yeah, I headshot because that's acceptable in this game. That is a monster moose. Oh, found him. Wait, so was that not an elk call, but a moose call? Yeah, go find it, bud. Oh, look at that. All right, I got all my pictures. So first things first, good job, Wilson. Good job. All right, so when I came up over that ridge line, I mean, the span on this thing compared to the others is huge. There's, the palms aren't that big. But then again, being as I have not seen that many moose in real life, I don't think I could be a good judge at that. Oh, hey, there's a stand right here. Hold on. Uh, let's... Moose by that stand, yeah. Maybe another big one will come in. 
Yep, that is a pretty massive moose. All right, let's uh, let's grab you. Perfect, 115 yard brain shot. And he's a mature. All right. Okay, license complete. Back to the cabin, which is. Come on, Wilson. Come along. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. How do you outrun me with such stubby legs? I mean, granted, I'm carrying a whitetail and a moose on me again, but... Alrighty, we are back. Wilson's catching up, right? There he is. Alright, stay. stay put. There you go, we got two moose. One for the money, one for show. So let's see. The deer scored zero. Why? Um, okay, let's take a look. Where's my deer? This one. 1.6 yards, 128 pounds... Uh, that one was 9.3 years. This one was only 7.8. So, I don't get why zero. I didn't... I shot them twice, but they were both vital shots. That's weird. Okay, well, I guess, uh, 550 will sell. Oh, the sleeping one. Right, score eight. All right, so he's identical, so we'll just sell him for the 49 credits. And the moose. Almost 5, 1,417 pounds. Curiosity. Quick check. So max moose weight in Call the Wild, or max weight class, is 1,367 pounds. So this is bigger than any moose you would get in Call of the Wild. Yeah, we're keeping this trophy. Man, I just realized that my last two hunts I didn't record ages. Ugh. Sad part is, that mature, high-scoring moose is actually only valued... 87 credits higher than a young bison. So bison may still be the way to go for getting money. Wow, ah, there he is. That is our mature bison or moose bison. <laughs> but there's a moose. All right, what do we what what next? What what do we go after next? I kind of want to know what goes there. That's red deer. That's roe deer. What goes there? Cuz there's white tail. That's mule. That's red. Up there's elk. Over there's pronghorn. That's gonna be bighorn. What goes here? So I guess that's what we gotta figure out next time. I'm, hmm, fallow deer? Uh, so fallow deer. I need to get a fallow deer, and I think that's it. I'm stuck. Watch out. Excuse me. I'm trying to, thank you. Oh, Sitka. I haven't brought back a Sitka either. And gray wolf. So, I guess that'll be the next videos to try and fill those two plaques. And, oh, there's something that goes up there, too. All right, so still some hunting left to do, but that does it for this one. So, there are buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't, and as always, buttons to push. Until next time.